Hey guys, Michael here. Welcome back to The Edit Place. And today we're starting a new series where every Monday I'm going to be kind of taking a step back from the advanced stuff and whichever software we are talking about, which for the next couple of weeks on Mondays is going to be DaVinci Resolve. We're going to kind of continue with that. Uh, this is going to be like a one-on-one lesson on how to get started with Resolve. So hopefully anyone new out there who maybe is switching from another program or is choosing Resolve to be your first editing uh, software. This series can kind of help you get started, learn the basics of each page. And so we're really going to dive back into the basics here. So if you're already using it, maybe you'll learn something new. But if the basics don't interest you, definitely come back on Wednesday and Fridays for more traditional content in the various different editing programs. And so with that out of the way, let's get started. And so right as soon as you make a new project, you're going to come to the media page. If it's open to something else, down here at the bottom, you have all of your different editing pages here. And we want to be on the media all the way to the far left. Now, if you are coming from another editing program, this all should look relatively familiar because they're all laid out the exact same way. You have your media browser or media bin right up here on the top left. You have your timeline viewer, or in this case, source viewer on the right. Down here at the bottom, you have your media pool. And then over here, you basically get your choice between looking at your metadata, which is the specifications of each shot you're looking at, you can look at audio waveforms, or if you're capturing from a device, so this would be like if you're literally plugging in a camera and trying to capture something straight off of a drive or a camera, you go here. Now, depending on what sort of screen size you're on, if one of these boxes isn't big enough for you, feel free to put your mouse anywhere on some of these lines here, and you'll be able to adjust accordingly. Now, some things you may want to turn on right from the get-go is something we've talked about in other videos called power bins. So if you look down here to the left, if all you see is smart bins or master, nothing in between that says power bins, head over to view at the top and almost all the way down, you'll see show power bins. Make sure that's selected. It's gonna save you a ton of time and in the future, once we get to editing, we'll talk more about that. Or you can check out some of my other videos and we'll talk about power bins there. Now to get started, all the way in the top left, you'll see all of your different various drives. Maybe you'll just see one or two. Basically, this is where you go to find your footage. So my footage is always served on my little server here that's plugged in. Uh, but if you have an external hard drive or directly on your computer, basically just want to go in and find the folder of the project that you are currently working on. Now let's say you're like me and you're always accessing some of the same files over and over. For example, if I go to my server and then YouTube, I'm always accessing the edit place to edit these videos. So what you can do actually is right click on it and you'll see add folder to favorites. That's going to place it in this favorites list over here to the left. And this way I can quickly go back and forth between folders that I'm constantly accessing. Now, once we find our folder here, let's say we're open up this project, we can organize things into our media pool. Now, before you start dragging in footage, I recommend going through and creating some bins first. So underneath master, you wanna right click and you'll see new bin, or you can go shift command N. Now, what are bins? Bins are essentially folders that you can create within your project to store different things and it basically helps you keep organized. And so for example, I'm gonna create a bin called assets, create a new bin called B-roll. Maybe one called music. And you can create as many different bins as you like for uh, the different components of your project. If you don't create bins, then basically everything goes into your master. And so for example, if I were to grab all this and just drag it into my media pool here, you can see that everything pulls into here, but now everything's kind of mixed together. I have some uh, screen capture stuff, I have music, I have general VO audio. And so to clean things up a bit, I'm basically going to highlight all of the clip footage 
and we're going to drag that into the b-roll section I'm going to drop the music into the music I'm going to take the screen capture and the voiceover file and put it in assets so now I can clearly see the distinction between the bins again helps you stay organized and kind of know where everything is without being jumbled together especially if you're doing something like a short film where you have multiple different scenes or multiple cameras bins are crucial for things like that I want to show you some different viewing options that you have on each of these different panels here is for example if we go into the b-roll section here and towards this top right we see a handful of icons the same as we do in the media browser now currently we're on thumbnail view which basically shows us an abbreviated version of the file name and then we can see uh, a thumbnail of what the clip is but if you want to sort by date or something else you can click this which goes to list view you see a lot more of the metadata you can see the entire clip name you can see the time code duration the resolution what format it's in where it's stored and again you can do the same thing in your media browser here now even though you don't get a thumbnail as soon as you click on a file in your top right here uh, in your viewer you're going to see the thumbnail of that clip which of course you can play through now going back to thumbnail view on everything let's go back up to our media browser here and we're going to choose this video file here now of course I can start to play here now what I did before was simply drag this file into my media pool and that gives me that whole video clip or video whatever it is to play through but let's say you only want to bring in a certain section like let's say I just want to bring in the intro then what you're going to do is go over to your viewer here you're going to move the playhead to wherever you want to start the capture and I'm going to hit I and you can see that lit up this entire line here and then you either play or drag the playhead until the point that you want to stop so let's say right here and now I'm gonna hit O for out and now you can see just this part of the line is selected the rest is not and so now I'm just gonna click anywhere over here on the actual thumbnail I'm going to drag into my media pool and I just put in my master for now and so now if I click on this down here you can see that I simply just dragged in these handful of seconds here rather than the entire video Now you're not cutting anything you're not messing with that original file at all you're simply just saying hey reference this file but only bring in the first 10 seconds or whatever you choose now a couple smaller things to take note of in the top left you can see a different percentage up here at the top you can choose to set it to fit which is going to fit the entire window no matter what you resize it to now it's not going to crop or change the aspect ratio of the video so you may see these kind of gray or black bars on the side but if you want to zoom in a bit or zoom out you can do that and oftentimes the scroll wheel on your mouse will also do this as well now while you have a clip selected in the bottom left you can see that I'm currently on source for video but maybe I only want to look at the audio track I can also hit play here and now I'm just looking at the audio waveforms rather than the video you also can mute the clips right there so that way if you're only looking at visuals and you don't want to constantly be hearing a bunch of different source audio you can just mute it right there and there you have it guys that is all of the basics of the media page inside davinci resolve don't forget to come back next monday so we can start talking about the cut page and if you have any questions at all about the media page hit me up down in the comments down below or over on twitter thanks for joining me in the edit place guys and i'll see you in the next video